Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to make fruit bread. So we're going to make whole wheat fruit bread using loads and loads of dry fruit. If you have a sweet tooth like me, then this is for you. Well, growing up, my father used to get this uh, bread from the stores, which was uh, called Britannia fruit bread. I'm not sure whether you used to get it in the rest of the country, but we used to get it in Bangalore. And it, I used to love that one. Um, I'm not sure whether we get it anymore. But this bread reminds me of the fruit bread. So this is my take on fruit bread. And if you want to see how to make this fruit bread, let's watch the video. So the ingredients that I'm using for our fruit bread are here I've taken two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. I've taken three tablespoons of jaggery. I like the bread a little sweet. That's why I've taken three tablespoons of jaggery. If you want to reduce it, you can reduce it to two tablespoons as well. I've taken one and a half teaspoon of instant dry yeast. So you can use active dry yeast as well. But here I'm using instant yeast. And then I have taken spices here, one tablespoon of ginger powder and one tablespoon of cinnamon powder, one teaspoon of salt. I've taken one cup of warm milk. We may need a little more when we are kneading the dough. And here I've taken three tablespoons of soft butter. Okay, and now comes the fruits. So here I have taken half a cup of golden raisins, half a cup of black raisins. I've taken two tablespoons of cranberry. I've taken two tablespoons of apricots, two tablespoons of figs. And also one tablespoon of our candied orange peel. So this is the measurement of fruits I've taken. But in case you don't have any of these fruits, you can substitute it with the other. Like uh, our fruit should be a total of one and a half cup of fruits. So you just need to take care of that. But you can, you can omit any of these fruits as well or increase and decrease accordingly. The first thing I've go I'm going to do is here I have one cup of milk. I'm going to add our jaggery into it. I'm going to mix the jaggery well and then I'm going to add in the yeast. So after adding in the yeast, I'm going to wait for the yeast to activate. So I'll give it a gentle mix and wait for the yeast to activate. Okay, that will take around 5 to 10 minutes. It's been around 10 minutes and if you see our yeast has activated, if you see the bubbles, see that. Now I'm going to keep that aside and I'm going to take our flour here. And to the flour I'm going to add in salt and the spices and I'm going to add in the fruits as well. Give this a good mix. Once you mix it well, okay, make sure that the salt and the fruits, everything is mixed well with the flour. Okay, now once we mix it, I'm going to add in the yeast and then mix it well with the flour. Uh, like I always say, each flour is different. So you might need a little more water or a little less water, but you need to get a dough which is a little softer than the roti dough. I'm going to use my hand at this point. Okay, I think I might need a little more liquid. So I'm going to pour in a little more milk. But before that, I'll just mix it well. Now if you see, I need more liquid. So I'm going to add in little by little milk. I'm kneading this only with milk. So you can use half water and half milk as well. Now I'll just knead this. Now if you see I've uh, mixed all the dry dough, uh, dry flour and there is no dry flour left. So now at this point I'm going to add in the butter. So I'm just taking all of the butter and then kneading it into the bread. Now if you see I've incorporated the butter into the flour and we've got a really soft dough here. Now that's it. What I'm going to do is just knead it for another 10 minutes. 
after that we'll put it for our first rice now I have been kneading this dough for 10 minutes and if you see it's become really soft now I'm going to just take some oil on my hand just about a tablespoon and I'm going to just brush the dough with oil and then I'm going to just fold it pinch it all towards the center like that you will notice that there are some of the dry fruits that are falling down don't worry you can just take it and put it onto the dough later so just like that okay that's done and at this point I'm going to just grease the bowl so I'm taking a little oil oiling the bowl and then I'm placing the dough and then I'm just applying some oil on top of the dough as well and that's done now I'm going to let this dough rise so I'm going to cover it I'm going to let this rise um, it might take about an hour or one and a half hours depending on the climate and also because we've used some fruits in this it might take a little longer so I think it will take about one hour to one and a half hour so I'm going to just leave it aside and wait for this to double in size it's been one and a half hour since our dough has been uh, proofing now I'm going to just take it out I'm going to just punch it down now I've taken it on a silicone sheet now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just flatten it you can use a rolling pin as well to flatten this okay just flatten it and then I'm going to just roll it in like that giving it a log shape just pinch the edges now here I have a loaf tin with uh, which I have lined with parchment paper in the bottom I'm going to just place our bread into the tin and I'm going to just flatten it okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this and let it proof for about 20 to 30 minutes till it comes it just rises above the edges here so I'll see you after that so I'm just going to cover this and let it rise for the second time it's been half an hour since our bread is um, set for second proofing and if you've seen it's just risen till the brim this is what we're looking for we don't want to overproof the dough okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently brush it with milk you can give an egg wash as well but this was a complete eggless bread so I'm not giving an egg wash I'm just giving it a milk wash the baking instructions for this would be preheat your oven at 180 for 10 minutes and bake it at 180 for 35 to 40 minutes so this is done it took me 40 minutes for this bread to be done just tap on top and you will feel it hollow if that is done then your uh, bread is baked now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take it on a cloth take off the parchment paper I'm going to brush it with some butter okay just brushed it with some plain butter and one more thing which truly elevates the flavor is brushing it with some jam or honey here I've taken orange jam which I had so I'm just going to brush it with some orange jam you can brush it with any jam that you have or even if you don't want to use jam you can brush it with honey as well so I'm going to just brush it across with jam now I'm going to just cover it and let it cool completely before I slice into it so just let it for cooling completely now once we cover this what happens is the top layer softens otherwise the top layer will remain hard so it's essential for us to rub a layer of butter and then leave it covered till it cools so the top layer softens so I'll see you after that now it's cooled down completely I'm going to just slice it 
so you need to wait for the cake to um, sorry the bread to cool completely before you slice otherwise it will just become lumpy now look at that see the textures So that's it guys, our fruit bread is done. Do try this recipe out during this festive season and let me know if you liked it. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Merry Christmas to all of you. And I'll see you again with another video. Until then, bye-bye.